Hi, my name is So Young Kim. I am working as a principal researcher at Deep Knowledge. I am in charge of clinical research management about deep learning models to apply to medical image analysis. Our team is conducting clinical research. Today's topic um, is to introduce an AI-aided uh, analysis for Alzheimer's disease. This was one of our internal research topics. I am going to talk about application of the DeFi platform that utilizes deep learning for medical images scanned by diverse imaging modalities. So first, I will introduce a topic uh, for today's presentation. We will go over development of algorithms for the way of building an image classification model, what data set is used, and the method of using DeFi, uh, cl DeFi for classification between NOMA and EVNOMA. Afterward, DeFi's results is to be compared to the results of um, the other models discussed in published papers. So what is the classification model? According to the definition of classification model, classification is the process of predicting the class of a given data point. For example, spam detection in email service is one of the most common classification problems. It's a binary classification because there are only two classes as a spam and not spam. When we started our clinical research on Alzheimer's disease by means of DeFi, our objective was pet medical image classification. It's a supervised learning method. Our research made a prediction model regarding a binary classification of either cognitive lenoma or Alzheimer's disease by using ADN data set provided by Alzheimer's Disease Neuroimaging Initiative Research Group. So here is the way of building process of D5. It represents how to build our deep learning method. For the first stage, we uploaded ADN data set on D5 and then took image pre-processing steps. In this image preprocessing stage, we used the three kinds of image preprocessing functions provided by DeepPy APIs. One of them is used by a colored grayscale in order to convert an 8-bit grayscale images. The second um, is the high uh, histogram equi equi equalization, histogram equalization to add maximum contrast effect. Thirdly, this score standardization was applied to maximize the useful feature extraction efficiently. After this, uh, pre-processed data is to be the input data for neural network and the model started to train, validate, and test. And we analyzed the model performance quantitatively using AUC, sensitivity, specificity, and accuracy, and so on. In this presentation, because we wanted to introduce our DeFi application with a simple case, the result was um, compared in terms of AUC with other models published by papers. So what is data selection? For our objective, we used ADMI data set, including flow deoxyglucose pet brain images for biomarker research of Alzheimer's disease. We downloaded the medical images regarding Alzheimer's disease at this website. You can download it. And ADME has three classes, such as normal stage, mild cognitive impairment as a progressive stage, and Alzheimer's disease stage. In our research for a binary classification, we selected two classes labeled by normal and Alzheimer's disease and we made our prediction model. Next slide, I'm going to explain how we made. Here, I'm going to introduce how to define modeling. We made our prediction model using D5 platform, which our company is developing hard. It is some beta testing now. One of our research aims was to test our D5 performance. 
The deep learning platform consists of a training mode and a test mode. Here is the training mode layout on the right side. Hyperparameter for a set of about 30 of approaches, eight of batch size, and learning rate decay as 0.9. It is set by users. For lack of data size, for lack of a data size, we applied augmentation function. In order to increase the number of data using a vertical shift, horizontal shift, gamma contrast and rotation. For optimization method here, we chose the atom optimizer with those hyperparameter settings. Uploaded data set was divided by 80% for training uh, out of a total data set. 10% for validation and 10% for testing. On this training mode, training data set and validation data set are, uh, were used for modern learning. On the testing mode, test data set were used for modern learning at the end. There is a layout for testing on the next slide. Anyway, after deep learning uh, process are completed, one can see output uh, with this section and prediction results for accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, positive prediction value, negative prediction value, and dice score, which means F1 score with loss and accuracy plot. Based on the performance output, we can see our training model works uh, quite well. Along with the learning process, test layout can switch by clicking this step. The model is working with the testing process learning by tested data assigned as 10% of total data set. This right images show the prediction result of the normal images with a prediction label. And on the output tab here, statistical information shows the same quantification method plus AUC, AP, and coin coefficient between testing result and training result. Here we compare our DeFi model compared to other uh, three models from published papers. These models use a 3D CNN, CNN plus RNN, Multi-modality cascaded CNN for Alzheimer's disease classification model. DeFi used uh, DanceNet for three dimension. AUC means the closer to one that the value is, the more robust to discriminate uh, the different parent between normal and abnormal. As an initial research, we saw that AUC of DeFi was the highest score among four models. However, it doesn't mean that DeFi can provide a robust model because AU, AUC is the highest. However, we think that it can be equivalently performing as if other models from published paper. Besides, DeFi is possible to provide an efficient model for language agnostic programming in future. Thank you for paying attention on this presentation.